In 1993, the war started between Muslims and Croats back home in Mostar. Since I was a Muslim and I was a student in the newly declared state of Croatia, I suddenly became a foreigner. So one day they posted a list on the dorm wall who could stay. I wasn't on that list. So I had to pack all my stuff and I was expelled from the student housing. The dorm director suggested, since I was a Muslim, I should go to Turkey. In the Ternopole internment and camp, women and girls were confined in a public hall. At nightfall, soldiers barged in and show their, shone their flashlights onto faces in the crowd to pick out their victims. When three women were taken out, each evening and failed to return. The entire remaining group, left waiting, understood what was happening. The rapes were only one part of a long series of exhausting and terrifying experiences. To survive, I joined the army trying to protect Bosnia, working as a medic. As a girl, it was hard. Women had to prove themselves small and had to protect themselves, psychologically as well as physically. Women in the army had no training and no one directing them. We were on our own, defending our people. My daughter was begging, go mom, please go. I had to protect her. She was panicking. So I had to be calm. I don't know where I got the strength, but throughout the madness, I kept thinking, I have to stay sane. In the middle of that hell, it's almost like you're hallucinating when you tell yourself these things. My husband was somewhere fighting. My older daughter was gone. Everything was on me. I thought, if I don't know where the two other most important people in my life are, I've got to take care of this one. I knew how to handle the paramilitaries who got out of control. I had to sit them down, offer them something to drink, and tell them everything was okay. Finally, I'd see them off, and we'll all take deep breaths. It was a different way of resolving conflict. Nineteen times during the war, I went out to find food in the fields of villagers who'd come into town for safety. We went out at night and gathered corn and potatoes, even though soldiers were all around us. They set mines for us. Lots of people died. I was stiff from cold. It started snowing, and the corn was still in the fields. I went out in the morning and was gone till night, walking the whole time. I was proud of what I could do, in human strength, really. <laughs> 